What's going on guys? It's Uncle Muscles. How you guys doing? Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and check me out twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. Let me show you guys today how to optimize your settings for Overwatch slash Overwatch 2 slash Overwatch 2. Because there's no more Overwatch anymore. I don't know. It's crazy. It still hasn't set in yet. Anyway, um, it's pretty simple. Um, I run a GT 1030, which is definitely nothing to write home about. Um, it's a horrible graphics card, but it gets the job done, and I get between 144 and 240 uh, frames per second with ease. Now, um, this is one of the only games that I get that type of response on, so it really does help quite a bit. Um, but what I have to do is um, reduce the graphics quite a bit, but it, it, it eventually... It, the game looks fine. This is one of the best running games. Even Overwatch 2 is one of the best running games on my on my GPU, on my setup. So I am in looking looking to invest and upgrade at some po point soon. I want to make better quality videos and uh, better quality streams, etc. But for the time being, I'm using a GT 1030, and I'm going to show you what I do in order to increase my FPS. Um, main thing above all is you got to run the game in full screen. Um, you know what? I will actually show a, another thing I do within reg uh, the registry editor at the end of this video. I just remembered. Um, but you want to take the display mode, put it in full screen. Um, that's the main thing. Uh, running it in full full screen window mode, there's just a little bit of a latency issue. You're going to get some jitteriness. You want to run it in full screen. Um, you definitely want to disable any of your like other applications in the background if you can don't use discord don't have uh, firefox or chrome open anything that's going to be using your graphical uh your, your gpu get rid of that you don't need that um that's just for any game really um i'm you also really you need to turn off the dynamic render, render scale it's it's decent uh, to some degree but it's just like you don't need that you can just run it at a like a, a static render scale and I would highly recommend turning it down to 50%. So turn off dynamic. It gives you, um, like, it's basically the same thing as the render scale, but you can just choose between 50% uh, or a higher grade, and the game will actually change the level of detail according to this and, like, kind of dynamically uh, according to the FPS. But you don't need to give that, you don't need to, deal with that i mean it will make your game a little look a little bit better but if you just want if you're just going for higher fps you don't want to worry about loading anything and putting anything extra in the memory or on the gpu extra extra load on the car that's unnecessary just turn this off you do not need dynamic render scale that's unnecessary um and then also turn down your in-game resolution to 50. this is like the main thing that i do um it really helps uh there's another thing you can do too with nis um i'm actually just going to start steering away from that because apparently it just it, it, it decreases the latency or increases the latency and so it's not something I really would necessarily recommend for an FPS shooter if you're trying to get more FPS overall for frames per second not first person shooter but just more frames per second it does make more sense but I think it does add latency and a lot of times especially with me because I'm running in the split screen or a clone display situation with Nvidia I don't do that anymore just because it's it's really the window full screen doesn't seem as responsive as using full screen so i would highly recommend using full screen as i said before changing your in-game resolution down to 50 percent um max frame rate i run max frame rate 250 if i can get over 240 it's good 244 is fine too um less uh strain on the card is better anything really just over I, like if you're running a 144 hertz monitor make it 150 or make it 160 if you have a 165 hertz monitor make it 180 something like that just a little bit above just to keep your game matching your monitor um i turn off things v-sync you don't want that you don't want you don't need any buffering you can if you if you want if you notice that it's not really impinging on your on your g on your frames it will make the game look a little better um nvidia reflex sorry uh yes we can just skip all these so reduce buffering triple buffering v-sync i turn all that stuff off you do not need that um enabled boost um i use this i have nvidia so i have an nvidia card and the nvidia reflex works I'm not really sure about the uh, boost I get on this. And then if you guys know about something that I don't with the NVIDIA boost, if it doesn't really work, let me know because, or if it doesn't really help, let me know because I'm actually curious what this actually does, what performance-wise what it does, especially on my type of setup, if it's even worth it, if it or if it's adding any input latency because that's what I do not want. I want to make it so that the frame is rendering as fast as possible. I have a 0.5 millisecond 
uh, response time monitor with 240 hertz. I'm trying to juice that for as much as as it's worth. And Overwatch is the best game for that, really. And it's really my favorite game. So I just I like my setup, even if it's bad. It works. <laughs> it works. It works well. I can click ads. It feels great. So uh, that's the video settings. Graphics quality. Oh, I didn't even notice that there's a whole separate thing now. But this is all basically the same as it was before. Texture low. Low. 1x. One, one um, everything low. Low or off if you can. Um, you don't need any of this. Overwatch looks pretty good without it. We're going to... I didn't know I could turn that off. I'll turn that off now. Um, see if I can get some extra uh, FPS out of it. Let's go. High quality upsampling. Um... Oh, you can do FSR through this? That's interesting. Uh, don't need this. Like I said, this might add some input latency, and I would definitely recommend the NIS native version instead of FSR. If you have AMD or if you have NVIDIA, you can actually, I believe you can stack them both. I don't know what the benefit is and if that what that does with your input latency, but I'm going to steer away from any type of image scaling software or... Um, applications through the hardware anything like that i, d I don't want to talk about that i've done other videos on that and i do they can be beneficial but i haven't actually run the stats on whether or not it does re increase latency between the response time of your monitor and your gpu so i don't i don't want to do i don't want to tell people to do that and be wrong um, and i'm not currently doing that and re in reality i don't think you need nis or image sharpening for this game it's kind of unnecessary so uh, if I'm running this game 50% resolution and I can get by on the GT 1030, whatever you're running, which most likely is going to be way better than mine, I'd highly recommend not doing that, at least for this game, if you're trying to play it on a very, very competitive level. Anything that's going to add your latency is going to really mess with it. Even if you're streaming, um, I used to stream with a capture card or without a capture card, and really that was, I didn't understand how much of a, of a, uh, like a serious problem I was creating for myself. The, the the lag that you get by doing that is very noticeable once you stop streaming. I only I only would play Overwatch while I streamed, and then once I and I played it a couple times off <laughs> offline, like when I wasn't streaming, and wow, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Bought a I bought a capture card pretty much right after that. So ten dollar crap uh capture card from from eBay solve that latency issue guys if you have another gpu or even a raspberry pi or something like that you'll do better off than running uh it'll 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 at least incre increase your your ability to play the game it'll literally you'll it'll make you better at the game not using obs on your computer using a dedicated streaming computer will make you better at an fps that is a fact anyway um that's about it uh that's all you really need to know for upgrading your your um or sorry, not upgrading, downgrading your graphics, but make the game run very well. Like I said, I get, um, right now I'm getting 60 FPS, but I mean, and the game, I'm not gonna lie, my game looks dog ass. Everybody knows my game looks the doggiest of asses, but in reality, um, let's just join a custom game really quickly. It, it, like I said, it gets the job done, especially if I'm playing something like Widow Headshot. Um, I get very, very high frames per second on ver on these smaller maps now. Um, yeah, see, I'm uh, like 240. See, sometimes it dips down below that, but it's okay. I I'm not really going to notice. Um, hey, buddy. I'm not really going to notice things like that when it dips down below too much, but I did notice going from 60 to 240. I'll tell you that right now. Some people who say you can't, n you can't tell the difference... Wrong, uh, wrong go. It's a little bit tighter than I wanted. I just did a video on how to change the the sensitivity. If you guys are interested, by the way, definitely check that out. How to fix your aim in Overwatch because this is definitely not the best. It's not one to one. At least that's what I would say. Anyway, that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. Thank you guys for checking it out. Appreciate it. Uh, love you guys. Twitch.tv/slash Uncle Muscles. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Bye. Bye.